on today? Yes. Yay. Is it, thank you, great. Glad to hear that. I'm Mitz. I'm a web application engineer working for Rakuten for almost 10 years from 2010. And I like Java, Scrum, and Kubernetes. And recently, I'm working for other teams in our department to support engineers, producers, and leaders and managers. And today, I'd like to talk about understanding differences. Because as you can see, there are a variety of people from overseas working at Rakuten. So, and actually, I'm working, currently working with the people from uh, to Mexico, France, and Canada, Philippines, UK, China, and Japan in one team. Therefore, it's so important to understand differences. But what is understanding differences? In the first place, we have totally different backgrounds in the cross-cultural environment. So we shouldn't expect ourselves in other people. And we shouldn't try to get rid of the differences. But we should understand and respect our differences. So what happens if we don't understand the differences? You might think something like this. He has no sense of responsibility because he only did why I, ask, I asked, even though there are many things around him to do. Or she must get angry because she has less questions to me recently. I'm so sad and so forth. So when we don't understand the differences, there are hidden expectations and guesses. For example, I ask you to please do A and B, but actually, I want you to do C and D as well without saying to you anything. And sometimes I guess uh, your thoughts without asking your actual opinions directly. We should avoid these two things uh, when we work in a cross-cultural uh, environment. So let's stop putting ourselves into other person because it forces our mindset to other persons and start more communication. I think this is the only way to understand differences of each other and stop using hidden expectation and then make everything in words and stop guessing and ask uh, other people's opinions or uh, feelings. And one key point is a discussion isn't a fight. If you understand the differences, we can have uh, productive discussions when we have different ideas or opinions. So please don't hesitate to have discussion. And sometimes it might be hard for Japanese people. Yeah, I was feeling hard to do so because I feel ashamed of differences at the beginning. And because we have sense of unity uh, in Japanese culture. And I was taught to put myself to other people so that I can understand what other people want me to do before they ask me. That's a motenashi mindset. And I love this kind of Japanese culture, but it's better to separate this mindset when we have business communications. So I needed to doubt my common sense at that time. The hidden expectations and guesses uh, were incorporated in my uh, deep area, and I didn't even recognize that. So having cross-cultural communication was kind of discovery for myself. And last but not least, uh, today's team is leaders for the future, so I'd like to touch upon a little bit about it. So far, I talked about differences, and leaders must understand and respect differences. On top of each member's differences, but the leaders have to put unified vision and direction <coughs> to the team because uh, it will make members work as a team, otherwise the team goes nowhere. And please don't be afraid of making mistakes of decisions. As Rochelle san mentioned, we need to fail fast and learn a lot from that. I think this is the only successful status to continue making failures. In summary, understanding differences is very important to, for the cross-cultural team and stop hidden expectations and guesses and have more communications explicitly. And leaders should give unified vision and directions on top of the differences. And please don't be afraid of making mistakes. 
So let's have a communication at the networking party. Thank you very much. <laughs>